Dog sleds like this one were essential to early Arctic explorers. They used them to haul food, supplies, and equipment across the snow, ice, and sometimes even water. This particular sled was used by the Canadian Arctic Expedition. It's called a gnome sled. It's also called a basket sled because of the way it could hold so much material. And it's an Alaskan type of sled that was adapted for use during the Canadian Arctic Expedition. The leader of the expedition, Wilhelmer Stephenson, had these sleds modified especially for the work they were doing in the Canadian Arctic. The bottom of the sled, there was an extra layer of slats added so that when they were traveling through deep or soft snow, the sled wouldn't hang up on the snow. It could slide much more easily. The other modification was the bottom runners of the sled. The curve of them was adjusted so that as much as possible of the sled would be touching the ice at the same time. So this would decrease the possibility of the sled breaking through thin ice. Not that thin ice stopped these explorers from traveling. Another modification was that when they came to an area of open water between the ice flows, they wrapped a piece of canvas around the sled from one end to the other and up over the sides so that the men could actually use it as a sled boat. And the men and the dogs would get in and paddle the sled across the open lead of water to the ice on the other side. The commander of the Canadian Arctic Expedition, Wilhelmer Stephenson, used this particular sled in his travels up into the Canadian Arctic where he discovered several new islands. In 1917, when they came back from their explorations from Melville Island to Banks Island, it was late in the season, the snow had gone, so they had to walk back to their base camp. They abandoned their two sleds, left them there in 1917, and the sleds remained there until they were picked up by the Canadian icebreaker HMCS Labrador in 1954. Thank you.